We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know Hello friends, my name is Young with a hat and welcome back to my channel Hello Right now I'm in Brighton Brighton is a beach city that is only 45 minutes away from London but I'm not here for any occasion I'm here to catch it Basically my friends live in Brighton and she has two cats but she's traveling for a few days so she asked me she trusted me to take care of her babies and of course I said yes and to know that Brighton is the gay capital of England we have the beach here and there's so many things to do so in this video it's gonna be me taking care of the cat and going to the beach I came up with the video title which sounds a little bit cringe but I think it sounds beautiful too it's gonna be the beach the sun the cat and me <laughs> that's maybe the title of this video first of all the cat let me introduce you to my victim <laughs> there are two cats and their personalities are so different this is boo he's a black cat and he's very lovely hi boo he doesn't want to be next to me yet. I have to gain his trust. And this is Snickers. Hi, Snickers. She's a beautiful and elegant lady. When my friend first asked me to take care of her cat, I was really excited. I was super excited, but I was also nervous because as you know, cats are more picky and less social than dogs. And in my experience, I have so many dogs already and I haven't had a lot of cats. So that's why I was really nervous. And I've been staying with them for a few days. Over the last few days, I fed them. I changed their litter. So I feel like they started to trust me a little bit more. My goal by the end of this trip, by the end of this vlog, is to help them trust me. To help them come to me when I lay down on the couch. Because for most of the time, I to come to them and pet them instead of them coming to me. I can do it. I will gain your trust, Princess Snickers and Prince Boo. You're so pretty. Can you hear that she's purring? I think Snickers start to warm up to me. But I got some points he dug from Boo because I think I just cleaned up the house and vacuum the floor so I scare him a little bit so he's laying down there without coming to me so right now I'm going online and search tips to get closer to a cat and they offer me some tips okay I'm going to try out this tip with Boo to see if he likes me or not Boo, I'm coming to you oh, I want me to pet you again okay, sorry for stopping the first tip is to sit down and get on the cat's level so right now I'm sitting next to his level let them sniff your hand. Can you sniff my hand, please? <laughs> the last tip also say that if the cat doesn't want to interact, don't force it. So right now, I don't think it's great timing because Boo just got scared because I vacuumed the floor. So we'll come back to him in a minute, okay? But Snickers, I love you so much. I love you too, Boo. Don't be mad at me for so long, okay? He went away the moment I got close to him. So give it some time, give it some time. It's trial and error when it comes to cats. And also, as I mentioned, Brighton is a beach city. Although it doesn't have the best beaches, the beaches are full of rocks here. But I still wanna go to the beach and just relax and eat some food. So let's get ready to go to the beach. I'm excited! To get ready for the beach, we need to have a lot of sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen. Taking care of yourself is important. And I think sunscreen is one of the most important steps in skincare. Arguably the most important step because it helps protect your skin from the UV. As a kid, when I went to the beach, my mom put a lot of sunscreen on me. Like a lot, like this much. For my beach outfit, I'm going to wear an oversized purple t-shirt with my black shorts. Because if I wanna go swimming, I'm gonna take this up and just jump right into the beach. And finally, I'm going to carry some stuff to the beach. First of all, I'm going to get my towel. Very important because I don't want to be walking in the cold. And one thing that I found about beaches in the UK is that they don't have a lot of public facility. In Vietnam, there are public toilets and public showers so that after people swimming in the beach, they can go to the showers and change. But I couldn't find it here in the two beaches that I went to. So I have to get super ready. My swimming goggles, my speedos, my water, my books, my flip flops. And finally, you guys, let's go. I can see the beach now, I'm so excited. It's right over there. Some people are swimming. I'm gonna go swimming too. Okay, so I'm at the beach already. I took everything up except for my flip flop and I'm ready to swim. But the only issue is I'm here by myself. If I go swimming, who's gonna watch my stuff? So right now, I think I'm gonna ask somebody. 
that's staying here to watch my stuff. My social anxiety is kicking in right now. You know the feeling that you're doing something by yourself, like go to the restaurant and eating by yourself, go to the beach by yourself, go to the cinema by yourself. You get really self-conscious and you feel like people are watching you, but nobody's watching you, you know? It's just your mind speaking the dirty, doing the dirty talking. Nobody's going to care and they will happily accept my request. So I will do that right now. Getting over my social anxiety. <laughs> social anxiety is scared of me. I'm not scared of them. There's so many seagulls. <laughs> so I just made a friend. Do you wanna say hi? Hi! This is you, Kwan. Hello! She agreed to take my pictures and keep my bags for me. I really appreciate that's it. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go and have dinner later if you want. Oh, okay. I see you. I'm gonna go swimming now. Yes, yes. It is so cold. This is not full of rocks anymore. This is just sand. The beach I went with my ex was full of rocks and it's not very good. But this one, it's just sandy. Look. I'm so happy now. People are so kind to me. I don't feel alone anymore. I have a few bug bites on my Scotland trip when I was hiking. So right now I'm gonna dip into the salt water. My mom always believed that if you dip the wound into salt water, it will heal. You can see it, all the bug bites will be gone. Okay. Mm, so cold! <laughs> Look what I found! In Vietnam we call it ghost crab because these little things go and find the gold shell, the empty shell and they come in. Actually I found two but I gave one to a kid and he was so happy about it but I told him to release it in the wild. Release it back to the ocean after he's done because we cannot bring these out of the oceans. They don't live very long. I just looked it up and I remember it's called hermit crab in English. Hermit crab. Okay, I'm going to release back to the wild now. <sighs> ah, so cool! The lighting is so much better now compared to when I first came. My hair is soaked and I found so many hermit crabs. I'm so happy! I like this. Look! Ah. Right now I'm going to change, but I don't think there's a changing room. So I have to change with my towels. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a leg cram. <laughs> I have a leg cram. One of these days, I'll be arrested for public indecency. My whole butt is out to everybody in the back. <laughs> Finally, I put on my clothes already, sunglasses, and now ready to go. Are you Sylvie? Uh, yeah. My name is Nyung. Nyung? Nice okay. to meet you. I just met some friends at the beach and right now we're having drinks together. Yes. Cheers! Yay! Oh. Like how to say cheers like in front? Uh, chin. 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 Yeah. Chin. And in Vietnam? Yo. 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 Yeah, so chin. Why? So, so friends, right? Chin. 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 Yo. Yo. <laughs> and how about Chinese? Gambe. Gambe. Yeah, Gambe. Gambe. I ordered lemonade and I'm 25 and they're still adding me. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like I don't even drink alcohol, like why would you add me? It's a nice day, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. amazing how we just meet like this. You know, yeah. you're from France, you're from China, I'm from Vietnam, we meet in Brighton. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're just drinking in a bar. Yeah. How amazing is that? I love meeting new people. Bye. So good to see you. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> so right now I'm in the grocery store. I want to get some food. Hi! You guys miss me? You've been waiting for me here? I saw you. You were going downstairs. And then I put my stuff here. Then you came. So does that mean you miss me? Uh, I bought some food. I cannot wait to have my food. After I came back from swimming, I'm exhausted. So I may have bought too much food. Look at these macaroons. Oh, looks so good. I ate five of them already <laughs> on the way back. <laughs> and I bought dry mangoes. Look at this. So much dry mangoes. Perfect. So I got myself the new teriyaki chicken from KFC and some fries. It is me time now after a somewhat emotionally taxing week. Get it? Because I'm a tax accountant. A lot of things going on this week. And honestly, going to Brighton, cat sit these two babies is the best that I can ask for. So let me take a big bite, okay?
But now I will enjoy my burger and watch the movie. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Before I go to sleep, I have to fulfill my responsibility as the caretaker of these two babies. You guys want to eat? Okay. Half here. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> so these are the dinners of the babies. Okay. And I also need to make sure that the dry food is never empty. So I'm going to get more dry food into the dry food bowl. And finally, I will change the water to make sure that it's fresh water. As an attempt to make the kitten like me, I also give them some treat occasionally. Whenever I shake the box like this, they always come to me. Look. You like it? You look so cute. <laughs> Aww. Okay, boo. Come here. Boo. You like it? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give some love to boo too, okay? <laughs> How can I resist those eyes? Boo is so pretty, honestly. You know what boo looks like? He looks like Toothless in How to Train Your Dragon. As you know, in so many cultures, Black cat is a symbol of bad luck, which is very far from the truth, which is very untrue. Black cat and black dog deserve love and attention. No matter what the color of the fur is, they're all very lovely animals. Alright, let's get that out of the way. But in Vietnam, when I was a kid, I heard a very weird and honestly scary story about black cat. Is that in funeral, if there's a dead body laying in the tomb and a black cat jump over it, the dead body will wake up for a few seconds and go back to the tomb. <laughs> that is so weird. And honestly, I got a little bit freaked out of black cat because I, I was just a kid. I didn't know any better. But now thinking about it, I think I love black cat more because of it. <laughs> okay, my job here is done. Good night, boo. Look at her tail. <laughs> okay, good night. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Just sleep. Did you enjoy your night? It is my last day here with them. I'm gonna miss you so much. Okay, thank you very much for being my therapy over the last few days. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Why are you so cute, little boo? And now let me check on Snicker and give them both some food. Yeah. Uh, how did you sleep? Hmm? You sleep well. I'm not sure if you guys know, but in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City where I live, there are a lot of stray cats and dogs. So when I was a kid, I keep walking and I run into a lot of stray cats and I always bring them home. <laughs> I always bring them home, but my parents end up giving them away because I don't think they want me to have a lot of pets. Just like any parents, they cannot just take any pet that you ran onto on the street. But yeah, I ran into a lot of stray cats, stray dogs, but specifically stray cats, a lot of them. Because you guys, just wanna go running out on the street. These are indoors cat. They don't go outside. Just boring. Yeah. So cute. And you guys hungry? Just me and my bestie chilling on the floor because she doesn't wanna be on the bed. Yo yo. <laughs> are you hungry? Wanna get some breakfast? It's time to heat them up with some breakfast. Smash out. Feed them. I was just sitting and Boo came and sat here. My goal by the end of this trip, by the end of this vlog, is to help them trust me. To help them come to me when I lay down on the couch because for most of the time, I to come to them and pet them instead of them coming to me. Good? Okay, it is the end of my trip now. I have to pack up everything to go home. <laughs> I'm going to miss you so much. Kiss. Hey, I'm gonna say goodbye to Snickers now too. <laughs> Princess sneakers. <laughs> All right, I will see you. Okay, 
Can I miss you so much? Okay, bye. I'm going for real. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Trash bags. I'm on the train now. I missed my first train, so I was running to my second train. I almost missed my second train. But look at yes. me, I'm all sweaty. Yes. <sighs> Hopefully I will get back to London on time because I have a birthday party to attend. I also have a work party. I have to choose between the two. But I think I will choose the birthday party because, you know, this is work party. Who cares? <laughs> Right now we're walking outside a little waitrose <laughs> um, because big waitrose is gone to bed. Oh, shut up! <laughs> it's so English. Oh, shut up! I'm the only person in this group not drinking any alcohol. I'm getting juice. And this is Claire. Hi! Hey! There is. Oh, it's right. Remy. So what are we getting? What are, what's, what's I'm getting lemonade. We're getting tequila. Happy birthday! I'm at home now. I'm a little bit tired, but I had so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed the present of me, the cats, and the beach. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please do not forget to like and comment on this video. Tell me which part of the video is your favorite. All right? And I will see you next time. Give you kisses. Bye.